you still think of the Braves basically as this. I've said it before, I say it again, when I cook, which maybe I had to do a little bit more of, uh, I like to listen to podcasts, and I like to listen to Josh Brown on Knock Home a Nation with his friend Ken Hendricks, and I like to follow him on Twitter as well, and primarily the Atlanta Braves, who, if the season ended today, of course we're 50 games in, they'd make the playoffs. Yeah, they are eligible with being a wild card game. And uh, so, there you go. I do, though, have a problem with the pennant race now seemingly being for fifth place instead of first. I've always said that, Josh. From San Francisco. Now, I, I was looking at this on social media, and I guess of all the places that it would happen, you'd have to think, yeah, yeah, it would be San Francisco. Uh, they're, you know, calling out the chop again, are they not? How serious was that? You posted a video, I think, of one lonely fan in a Golden State Warriors uh, uh, shirt uh, screaming out, the chop is racist, you're all lowlifes, or whatever. Uh, was that one rogue fan, or was The uh, dating back to the Milwaukee days, the laughing Indian chief Nakahomo with the uh, mohawk and the big and the earring and uh, his mouth wide open and all that. That was uh, they attempted to bring that back in 2012, and it was basically shot down. Uh, I, I'll, I'll say this: I, I never was a huge fan of that logo because when I was a little little boy, I thought with that Indian's mouth so loud uh, or large, it was large, it was going to swallow me whole. I, I did think that, but at the same time, I mean, is it offensive? Or you know, we all have our we all have our logos that we like that we don't, and all this, and just trying to find hate in a baseball logo or a cheer or something is try to find hate where it doesn't exist. I've said that many, many times, and I also think, why is, would uh, the chop, why would this be something uh, offensive, but I don't know, Notre Dame fighting Irish would not be, because there's not a political movement behind banning that, or the Indians logo, or Marquette Warriors, or Washington Bullets, or what have you. That's the reason why. And when there is a po when there is a political movement to ban whatever, be it the Fighting Irish or I don't know the Kansas Jayhawks, you know they're hurting that animal. Whoever heard it with a bird with shoes on? And you know that's when winning hit in the thirteenth. We played it earlier. Come, Braves club. What do you think? I think just getting a 
kick in the pants and just a little bit of a change in scenery, I think, has helped him. Uh, I love it. I, re- I really do. So I'm, I'm happy for Sean, and I, I think it's going to continue to to be good. I knew he had a place on the Braves. It was easy to say, oh, the Braves should trade him, because the Braves are, as we know, just so stacked with pitching talent. And so, you know, he, he is expendable in a way, but I never thought he was a lost cause. He's just too talented. He really is. And so uh, I think it's an extra uh, benefit for the Braves. And another reason why the Braves were able to, you know, part ways with Dizzy last week. Or this, yeah. this week, I think. You know, Dizzy, he's out for the season, obviously, but he's still a very formidable bullpen guy. And so it helps the Mariners uh, next year. And the Braves don't really need it when they have guys like Sean Newcomb and guys like Patrick Weidel coming up as well. I wanted to ask you about that. Now, I guess uh, if you can stay for our next segment, I'll do that. I've got a commercial break here in just about a minute. But uh, I wanted to ask you, I mean, yeah, it reminds me, We, we a lot of Braves fans will think, oh, a starter made closer, you know, John Schmoltz. I think more because it's a lefty of Dave Rigetti, but, uh, and that's a, a previous era. But, I mean, do you have any problem with a lefty being the closer? Not really. I don't, I really don't. And, 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 and I don't know if it's going to be his, you know, full-time role going forward. I, I don't think it is. I don't think he's going to be the full-time closer. I could be wrong about that. Uh, I think it might be situational. I really do. I think right now, as crazy as it sounds, but Luke Jackson, my God, uh, arguably the best slider in baseball right now. What he's done with his slider has just has blown my mind. And so I think he's the guy. And then, John Newcomb is, is, is there if you need him in a situation. 